Hi guys, welcome to today's class on yoga for aligning hips. Today's poses are gonna focus on creating flexibility in and around the hip and the hip muscles, but also creating strength because we wanna be nice and balanced with strength and flexibility. Okay, so let's get started today in tabletop position. Okay, so let's get started in tabletop position and we're just gonna make a few circles with our hips. So have your knees about hip distance apart, your wrists underneath your shoulders, and then just start to sway your hips from side to side to start with. Just a little bit of movement to start to get into the hip muscles and the hip area. Just we do a lot more sitting now than we've ever done before, so these muscles can get really, really tight really, really quickly. I'm going to start to make some sort of semicircles with your hips. You might notice that one side feels a little tighter than the other side. This is completely normal. We don't usually sit very even or very stable when we're either at the desk or when we're on the couch or in the car. We seem to favour one side more than the other. I'm going to start to make some bigger circles with your hips or figure eight movements, any sort of fluid movement in your hips so that you can just start to create a little bit more space there. And just sort of lean into anywhere that you feel a little bit tighter or a little bit more tension. And sort of flow through the areas that feel quite smooth. And bring your hips forward, give them a little sway here. And then all the way back. Tucking our toes under, we'll come into downward facing dog. So lift your bum and hips up nice and high. And then just give your feet a little pedal out. And heels to the ground and then lifted. Feel your chest pressing back towards your thighs so we put less pressure on our wrists. And then just again a little side to side movement of the hips. You can't do it wrong, so just sort of any movement that helps you feel into your body and start to become a little bit more aware of where it might need a little bit more flexibility and space and where it might need a little bit extra strength. Right. Okay, so from downward dog position, we're just gonna walk our feet all the way to the top of the mat, nice and slowly, and then just give our bodies a little dangle over our legs. Still swaying the hips a little bit from side to side. And then walking your hands out in front. So either placing the fingertips on the mat in front of you or taking a block, and that we might give you a little bit extra lift. If you don't have a block, you can use anything like a pot or a little stool or a block, uh, a book. So anything that just gives you a little bit more lift. Tuck your chin into your chest and lean your body a little bit more forward. I'm just going to pedal the feet out here. So pedal one, pedal two. Again, anything that just helps to create a little bit of movement and a little bit of softening in those tight hip joints. Okay. And then taking a twist, you want to plant your right palm either on the block or on the ground and then inhale, reach up the left hand all the way and then drop into the right knee. So this will help us to open up a little bit more but also help to stretch the outside of the left hip. Take a deep breath in and then exhale down. Swapping over, inhale the right arm all the way up as you drop into the left knee. And then just feeling that release down the outside edge of the right hip. Deep breath in and exhale to lower down all the way back into our forward fold. And so from here, halfway lift again, create lots of space in the sides of the body and the spine. And exhale, lower down, plant your palms. Nice big step back with the right leg into our low lunge. So both hands come all the way up here. So you wanna keep your hips facing towards the front and staying nice and stable. So pushing forward with both of your hips and leaning back with your sort of like middle body thoracic spine and having even weight and strength in the feet. Hands can either be in the center of the chest or lifted all the way up depending on what's more comfortable for you. So take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Again like that, deep breath in and out. And coming up into a high lunge from here, so lift the right knee off of the ground. 
Having your feet about hip distance apart will help with stability. And then we want to keep both hips facing even. So it might be a slight pulling forward of the right hip and a slight pulling back of the left hip and then sinking down into the left knee. Good, take a deep breath in here. And deep breath out. And draw both of your thighs towards each other. So this will help to activate all the muscles. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, leaning forward. Now we're coming into warrior three. So lean your body weight forward, 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 forward until the right leg comes off of the ground. And then just avoid opening the right hip here. So you wanna keep hips nice and stable, which might mean dropping the right hip just a little bit and then bending into your standing knee. Good, and then see where you can find more length and more space while keeping the breath flowing. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. And keep the glute muscles activated and the leg muscles strong. One more inhale. And then exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. <sighs> Give yourself a little sway. Give your hips a little shimmy to release. <sighs> and then coming into our halfway lift again, either hands on the mat or into a block. Give your feet a little bit of a pedal. And then taking the twist again. So planting the right palm or come up onto the right fingertips. Inhale the left hand all the way up and then drop into the right knee as you open up the sides of your body and the side of the left hip. Exhale to lower down and then move fluidly to the other side. Right arm up, left knee bent and exhale down. Halfway lift helps us find a little bit of space first. Deep breath in. And then exhale to fold, plant your palms, big step back with the left leg, drop the left knee into our low lunge again. So a nice stable stance, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, arms either all the way up or into the center of your chest. And then if you need to realign your hips a little bit in this pose, even just placing your hands on your hips can help. And then you can see if one might be jutting a little bit forward or a little bit back. So tuck your tailbone under a little bit and that will help to create a little bit more space. Thighs squeeze together, nice, good. And then just maybe draw one hip a little back, one hip a little forward until you find what feels more even and stable for you. Coming up into our high lunge now, inhale, hands into the center of your chest. And the same applies here. You wanna keep both legs really strong and hips facing forward. So it might just be a gentle drawing back of one, gentle pressing forward of another, yeah? Keep your length in the sides of your body so we don't compress into the hips. And then coming into warrior three, lean forward until your left leg floats off of the ground. So we wanna avoid opening the hip up here just to get the leg higher. More important that the hips stay nice and stable and facing directly towards the ground and forward. So bend your right knee and then just drop the left hip a tiny bit. See where you can find more length and more space. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Give your hips a little sway, a little shimmy again. Nice, and then we'll come into a wide-legged forward fold. So take your feet way wider than hip distance apart. Good, a little side to side will just help to create a little bit of space in the inner thigh muscles. Have your hands planted on the ground or use a block or a book or something to give you that little bit extra height. And then pigeon toe the feet in just slightly. Good. Find somewhere that feels stable for you and then squeeze your inner thighs towards your midline. Place your right hand in the center and then on the inhale, reach the left hand all the way up. Just be mindful though you don't drop the right hip. So you wanna keep the hips nice and stable and sort of twist just from the middle of your body. Deep breath in and exhale to release. To the other side, the right hand comes all the way up. Just notice if you swing your hips towards the right and if you do, gently guide them back towards the left. See where you can find a little bit more space. Take a deep breath in. And exhale all the way down into your forward fold. Keep squeezing the inner thighs towards each other. Keep reaching your bum and hips up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Slowly walk the feet a little bit closer towards each other. A little bit wider than hip distance apart. Toes out, heels in. And then squat down 
into our little Indo squat, nice and wide. Good, so if your heels don't touch the ground, that's no problem, just come to where it's comfortable for you. Elbows in the knee creases, just to encourage them open, and then sit up nice and tall, creating lots of space in the body. Take a deep breath in, and a slow breath out. Okay, so from here we're coming all the way towards the ground into fire log pose. So you wanna bring your right shin parallel towards the side of your mat and flex your toes. So flexing the toes helps to protect our knee joint. And then we're gonna bring the opposite leg over top, ankle just above knee, and flex the toes on that foot. If your knee doesn't quite touch the ankle on the other side, you can place a pillow or a block or something in there just to support it until it does. Make sure you keep the feet flexed and make sure you keep space in the sides of your body so we don't compress into the hips because we wanna create as much space in this sort of pelvic region that is possible. So continue to lift, continue to create space as you move into the pose. And then we're just gonna lean slightly forward. Yeah, pausing when you feel the first bit of resistance. So never pushing through any tightness or tensions but working with it in our body. Once you find that position where it feels a little tight, it feels a little bit tense, then just ease your way there. Pause. Breathe into that space. See if you can soften. Slow and steady breaths. Eyes closed. And just gradually, breath by breath, letting your body sink a little deeper into the pose. Even if that doesn't mean you actually move in the pose, just feeling yourself relax into it, rather than feeling your muscles tense and clench. And coming all the way up nice and slowly. And then to the other side. So you'll put the left foot this time, shin parallel towards the side of your mat, flex your toes to protect the knee, and then bring the opposite one on top to flex the toes, protect the knee. Different side of the body. So you might notice that this one gets a whole lot closer or maybe it's a whole lot further. Each is fine. You adjust what needs to be adjusted for each side of your body so that it benefits you. We're not trying to push our body so that it's exactly the same on each side because we don't do the same things with our body on each side. It's a slow process to bring it back into balance and we're just being gentle. So nice and gently, start to ease your way in, close your eyes so there's no goal of getting closer to the ground. You're just finding a position that feels that first bit of resistance for you and then letting yourself ease into that. If it makes sense to you, send your breath to that area of tension or tightness and just see if that helps then to soften and relax the muscles. Just nice and gently. The more gentle we are with our body and the more we ease into it, the more our body will start to relax and start to release. No forcing, no fighting, just gentle. And then when you're ready to come up, nice and slowly, I'm all the way up. We will come into our back. Make sure that you've got a block or a book or a pillow or something close by, all the way onto our backs and we'll bring our knees into our chest, into the happy baby pose. So you wanna take the knees a little bit wider and then your peace fingers, either hook onto the big toes or hold onto the outside edges of your feet, hold onto your ankles, Hold on to the back of your calves, hold on to your thighs. There's many places you choose which is right for you. And then without using force, just the weight of your arms, let that draw your knees down towards the sides of your body and open your hips. So there's no forcing, there's no fighting. Everything is just nice and gentle, nice and slow. And then just observing here, if one feels a little tighter, a little stiff, and see if you can soften into that. See if you can relax your arms, your face, your shoulders. The whole body softening will then signal to those really stiff and stuck areas around your hips that it's safe. Safe to relax and release. 
We're bringing the knees back into the chest, give yourself a little hug in. Grab hold of your block or pillow. We're gonna put that in between our upper thighs for bridge pose. So this will just help to build a little bit more strength in the muscles around the hips. So you wanna squeeze your block together and plant your feet into the ground. Hands just down by your sides with your shoulders tucked under a little bit. And then on the inhale, start to lift the bum and hips, but keep your ribs drawing in. So you want to keep the core nice and activated and we want to keep the lower leg muscles really activated by pressing the soles of the feet into the ground, squeezing the block with our thighs. Breath is consistent, smooth, deep and even. And on the inhale, see if you can lift a little bit higher. And on the exhale, see if you can maintain that height. Take one more deep breath in. And one more breath out as you slowly release. Good. Release the block and then keep your feet flat on the ground. We're going to cross our left ankle over our right thigh and then just drop our knees over towards the right hand side. So this is this nice gentle stretch through the left hip just to release here and also getting a little bit of a twist to neutralize our spine after the back bend. So you want to keep the left knee just pressing gently away. You can use your hand if that helps to keep it up. Good. And then come back to center. Keep the feet as they are. Just flex the left toes and then bring the right knee into your chest as you wrap your fingers around your calf. So you can use your left elbow to gently encourage the left knee away. Keep the shoulders relaxed on the mat and see if you can keep your whole spine and lower back nice and even on the mat. And as you draw the right knee in, resist the left knee, flex both toes to keep the knees protected. Good. And then release down. Keep the feet again as they are, just bring the right foot out to the side and then let the knees draw or flop over towards the left hand side here. So then that will just stretch out through the front of the right hip. Your hands can stay on your hips if that helps you um, to become more aware of them or connect with them. Or you can bring your hands anywhere that feels more comfortable for you. And then just see with every exhale breath if you can soften just a little bit more into those areas of tightness and stiffness. No rush, but just see. See if you can slow your breath down and smooth it out. Every exhale then giving the body another opportunity to release a little bit further. And then bring the knees back up. Swapping over to the other side, we're going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh, flex the toes and then just draw the knees over to the left hand side. And you can use your hand to gently resist the right knee and just encourage that opening through the front of the hip. And see if you can relax both legs. See if you can smooth out your breath and just observe what you feel in your body. Not trying to push past, just observing. Good. From here, bring the legs back up, keep them as they are. Draw the left knee in towards your chest, wrap your hands around to draw the left knee in and then press the right shin or the right knee away. So it's just nice and gentle. Flex both of the feet to protect the knees. See if you can even out through your back and your spine so that you feel nice and supported on the mat. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Just slowly breath by breath. See if you can create a little bit more space in the glute muscles. Everything just nice and gentle. And keeping the legs as they are, release. And then knees over to the right hand side. You can take the gaze towards the left hand side if that feels right. You can place your hands on your hips so that you can really connect into them. And just notice if this side feels very different to the other side, if it feels slightly different to the other side, and adjust what you need to so that you can get the most amount of benefits on this side of your body. So no pushing, no fighting, no forcing. Just adjusting to what your body needs. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. 
own. Coming back to centre, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself one final last little hug in and one little roll around on the glute muscles and lower back. Good, just to soften everything out. And then coming into Shavasana. Straight your legs all the way out. Bring your hands down by your sides. Take a nice deep breath in. Sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Seal your lips. Let your breath return to its natural rhythm and pace. And let your whole body just rest and relax here on the mat. Feeling your body weight evenly supported. Feeling your breath flowing freely through areas that might not have flowed freely through for a while. And then give your toes a little wiggle, give your fingers a little wiggle. And take a nice big stretch as you reach your toes and fingers in opposite directions. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> Draw your knees into your chest, roll over onto whichever side feels comfortable. See if you can keep your eyes closed as you come all the way up to a seated position. Just to minimise distractions. And keep your attention on you and your inner world for just a little bit longer. And bring your hands into the centre of your chest. Bow your head towards your heart. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. <sighs> Every day you have the opportunity to reset, to realign and to restart. Let today be that day. Namaste.